So it's Sunday the 4th of February here in Sydney, Australia, just after 1am and I'm waiting up tonight hopefully to capture this ISS transit which occurs just around 3.30 in the morning. Now it has been raining on and off but I've got everything ready to go. I've got the telescope there set up with the Canon camera on the back plus the P900 and the B700 on separate tracking mounts. So with a bit of luck, if the clouds clear up, we'll be able to get an ISS transit tonight. We've just moved into a new house this week and just playing with the hue lights. They're pretty cool. They're just set up behind the television. They've got all these different effects. So I just want to show you very briefly the equipment I was using for the ISS Transit last night. First was the B700 camera. That was on a Skywatcher as GTI mount and that was taken at 30 frames per second in 4K. And there's the original video on the camera. The next one was with a P900 and that was on a Star Discovery Pro mount. And again, there's the original video on the camera. This one I started first so you can see there's quite a bit of cloud and the camera is just trying to focus and then when the cloud clears we will see the ISS transit. So there it goes. And the final one was on a Celestron 9.25 inch telescope on an equatorial mount, the Skywatcher as EQ6. And on this one I had the Canon 1DX Mark II camera. And that was running at 4K and 60 frames per second. And again, I can just show you that. There it goes. So we can now just move back one frame at a time. And there you can see it. So all legitimate, all my own work. <laughs> 